Spoken for Communications brings you this preview of North Carolina Central and East Carolina in their first ever meeting. That's coming to you on Saturday night, starting at 7.30 here on the NCCU Sports Network kickoff set for 8 o'clock. I'm Chris Hooks, the play-by-play -play voice with the head coach of the Eagles, Jerry Mack. Coach, as we count down to kickoff, you know, what are some things that you've been thinking about here the last few weeks as you get closer and closer to your debut as head coach? Well, we've been thinking really about, Chris, uh, having a clean picture. You know, we want to make sure we reduce the penalties going into this football game, make sure we don't have any turnovers, things like that, make sure our sideline organization is where it needs to be. For you personally, though, what, what, have you been, what have you been thinking about? This is kind of a lifelong dream about to come to fruition. Right. Well, you know, it, like you said, it's a lifelong dream, and, you know, my family is really looking forward to it. It's been a, a long time coming over the course of about 10 years coaching, so we're, we're looking forward to it. You don't get a ton of time to really enjoy and sit back and relax and enjoy it, sort of, because then you get to go in front of 50,000 people at East Carolina. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a day-to-day -day grind. That's what we talk about all the time. You know, our coach is in there early, and we're leaving late uh, the entire week. As the week kind of tailors off, you know, our hours become a little bit less, but, uh, you know, we're doing a good job of preparing for this game, and, you know, we'll continue to do it all the way up into game time. Tell us a little bit about East Carolina, what you've seen on film. Uh, really dynamic on offense. You know, they have one of the best quarterback-receiver tandems uh, in the country, so we got to do a great job of trying to control it and trying to slow that down a little bit. Uh, defensively, they do a great job of flying around to the football. They, got, they bring a few starters back, but the new guys are going to be just as dynamic. And you, uh, it's kind of interesting how the defense is overshadowed by their offense because they're eighth in the country in scoring, you know, top 15 in passing. What is Shane Carden so good at when you see him on film? Really, he can dissect the defense. You know, he, he does a great job of putting the ball in tight windows. He does a really good job of understanding where his receivers are at. And once again, that, that tandem with him and Justin, you know, he can close his eyes and Justin be where he needs to be. All right, let's look at us, a little self-reflection a little bit, looking at Quinn Billerman, and you've seen him, obviously, in person. Then when you go back and watch him on film, how much better has he gotten here in the preseason? He's really grown, you know, by naming him the starter as well. You know, these last couple of weeks, he's really taking – hold of that quarterback position. He's been done a really good job of managing our offense and, and keeping us out of bad situations. Uh, in the summertime, he put in the work needed to be to really excel and be the kind of quarterback we need him to be. Then you got Malcolm Bell, who you, you've, you've talked before and you made it known that you've got a package for him. He's going to get some playing time. It, for him, is it more or less uh, just a situation you're going to put him in a position to where you can use him at his best? I think so. You know, the, the key to any coach is making sure that the best players are put in the best situations. So we got to do a great job of having that package for Malcolm to make sure that he can extend the chains and he can put us in a situation where we can score points. Is it going to be any added pressure or is it just part of the game plan to get Adrian Wilkins the football in space early? Uh, it's just part of the game plan. You know, we don't make any special effort to try to get him the ball early or late. It's just part of, you know, we let the game kind of come to us and Adrian would do a great job. You know, the defense, you look at last year, it was some issues with it, and it seems like you've got a lot of talent there that really seems to be in the right position and could be really special this year. I guess now it's just give them a chance to go prove themselves. I think that's the key. You know, we simplified our defensive game plan a little bit. We're trying to make sure that they have the chance to go out there and play fast and execute fast. And Coach Eastman's done a good job of, of really stressing to them, hit anything that moves, and that's our kind of motto on defense. Ty Brown, has he made that uh, that transition to the D line? Has he is he is it complete or has he still got some room to grow? Uh, it's always room to grow, and, and Ty is, is getting better with each and every practice. But the biggest thing with Ty, we talk about it a lot of times, is leadership. Being that senior on the defensive line, we want to continue to stress to him how to lead and, and be the kind of leader we know he can be. Special teams is something we've been really good at in the last few years. It seems like we've got a couple good kids that are a little young but very talented in Nathaniel Tilk and uh, Brandon McLaren. Yes, I mean, they're hard workers, and that, that's the thing. They're consistent, and they work hard every day. Every day, you can just you just can tell they come out to practice to get a little bit better. For you, is it just more or less get a quick start on the offensive and defensive side, maybe get a three and out early for, for the key for this one early? I think, you know, anytime you want to have success early. You know, anytime we can set the tone and set the tempo, we're going to give our young men a chance to get that momentum, and hopefully it carries out throughout the game. All right, Coach, best of luck. Thank you. That is head coach Jerry Mack as we count down to kickoff between North Carolina Central and East Carolina. We'll be on the air at 7.30 for the Denny's of Durham pregame show. You can also watch the game on ESPN News. Enjoy the ball game, everybody. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.